Steve Spangler has a bonus edition of his popular science segment this morning. He's been hosting a workshop to coach science teachers from all over the country on how to put more fun into their classrooms. The workshop is in Lakewood, and that's where Steve joins us this morning. Steve, a lot of those teachers got up early for us this morning, huh? They got up really early for us, and they're wearing ponchos. Whenever teachers are wearing plastic at 6.30 in the morning, holding Diet Coke with Mentos, you know there's going to be a problem, all right? Uh, the teachers are here for the uh, for the uh, National Hands-On Science Institute uh, version of Science in the Rockies, and all these teachers are uh, pretty excited about taking some of the activities back to the classroom. Kim Alton Bombers from Texas. We have 30 different states kind of represented here. Tell me it's some of the problems first of all about teaching science in the classroom because it's not one of the reasons you're here is because you're trying to learn some of those activities. Yeah, I think one of our problems is elementary teachers have forgotten how important science is. Um, it develops that critical thinking, so kids need that for all of their subjects. And they're not just taking the time to put that into science. So, that's and what, are you, my and what are you going to take back? Because there's it's too many activities to put it all in. What are you? Oh, gonna but I'm going to do them all. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm hoping to take back activities that are getting get the kids excited um, and take it to the dining room table, like you told us. Their parents are going to hear about it at night. This is what we did, um, and they're going to extend on that. How did that happen? What can I do from there? And so we're hoping to develop that critical thinking for these kids. And they're going to build some of those uh, connections yeah. along the way, I hope and so. and hopefully with what you have in your hands that scares me. All right, <laughs> Floyd Jolly from. Georgia. From Georgia, that's right. Would you explain to us what's going to happen, okay? So sure. you've got uh, an empty bottle, but you'll have a full bottle here in a second. Is that right? Yeah, All right, we'll, so what's going to happen? Well, we'll have a full bottle of Diet Coke down below, and we have the Mentos up top, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull the pan, the Mentos drop down into the Diet Coke, releasing all the carbon dioxide. So we're hoping that we're going to have 30 feet geysers in the air in just a few minutes. <laughs> and, of course, you could just, if they want to follow along at home, you could just drop the Mentos in, and all the carbonation comes out because we've got those little pits on the Mentos. Exactly. Is that right? Exactly right. Those little points. So when it comes up, we've built up some pressure and we've exactly. got it, right? Exactly. And, and the Diet Coke's going to shoot straight in the air. Got it. And Carol, why Diet Coke? Because it's not sticky. That's right. And it shoots really, really well. <laughs> really well. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, people? Here we go. Put them on. We're going to do a little countdown. Holy fright. All right. I'm going to step right over here. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull. Nice job. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there you have it. Uh, teachers doing science. Teachers gone wild. That's what it is. Uh, back to you, Gary. Holy Mentos, Steve. That is just wild. All it right. is kind of wild, huh? <laughs> that was fun. Thank you for that. All right. Thank you. Video Thank clip of Steve. And uh, the teachers, you can log on to 9 newscom Just click on the morning show button, and I'm sure that'll be on YouTube soon, too. We'll take a break and be right back.